The ultimate quest for lightness forces manufacturers of electric bicycles to implement exotic materials on the construction of their two-wheelers. Carbon fiber would usually do the trick, but the price tag of these models places them in the beyond affordable category. Nevertheless, today we are attempting to collect the lineup of the lightest carbon fiber e-bikes with the cheapest prices. Subscribe to our channel to always be notified about the latest electric news, and let's get technical. This e-bike startup offers their Carbo Electric Bicycle in three modifications, all featuring a foldable carbon fiber frame and fork from the Japanese Tore. The range starts from the C model that gets a single gear chain and is advertised a daily commuter with pedal assist only. The S-Bike is a mid-tier model with a standard 9-speed Shimano gearbox, thumb throttle and smart LED display, while the flagship position is occupied by the Carbo X that gets a carbon fiber belt drive. All three come with a standard 250-watt rear hub Bafang motor that can be optionally upped for a 350-watt one. It is juiced by a 252 or an available 378-watt-hour removable battery that is hidden within the seat post. With e-bikes evolving so fast, it would be foolish of us to state that the Eole is the most compact, foldable electric bicycle, but it definitely raises the bar of lightness and ergonomics in the daily commuting segment. The Japanese startup uses carbon fiber for the frame, while the 7 amp hour battery is fitted into the C-post. If you opt for more expensive Eole's S model, the carbon treatment will be also applied to the handlebar and the aforementioned C-post. This option decreases the bike's net weight to an impressive 28 pounds, including the battery. The Oli can cover almost 30 miles in pedal assist mode, but you can double that with the optional bottle mounted battery. The best price to weight ratio on the market of e-bikes undoubtedly belongs to the e-Tura by Fioro Systems. It features a foldable carbon frame and no apparent steel components. Hence the 26 pounds on the scales are mostly contributed by the 250 watt brushless motor and the 350 watt hour Samsung battery. This tiny commuter can peak at 400 watt when need be and its top speed is around 15 miles per hour. Among the worthy features are the intuitive LCD dashboard light yet powerful Tektro Mini V brakes, LED headlights, and integrated wireless turn indicators. If you feel like smashing the like button, do so, and you'll be making a major input in the electric vehicle's expansion. Let's proceed. Originally launched via Indiegogo, the Nurika was marketed as the cheapest carbon fiber e-bike in the business. It currently sells in two configurations, the most affordable Homey and the flagship Prime. The former is fully suspended and powered by a rear hub motor up to 500 watts, while the latter prefers mid-mounted systems from Bosch with 750 to 1000 watt output. It either has a solid carbon fiber structure or an optional magnesium air fork. Expect Narikas to cover from 25 to 31 miles at the speeds up to 28 miles per hour. The bikes are thoroughly customizable and seem to be on track with production and delivery schedule. The Canadian Daymac is probably most famous for its off-road focused B scooter and ATV, but the company actually has its roots going back to early 2000s, when it was established as an importer and manufacturer of electric bicycles. 
In 2015, Daymac launched the EC1, their first carbon fiber bike. At the time, it received a carbon fiber frame, while later iterations added a seat post and forks from the material. Today, the EC1 is offered in two modifications, Pro and Special Edition. Both come powered by a rear hub 250 watt motor, get a removable battery, and can cover up to 25 miles on a charge. The Special Edition, however, also features a sophisticated LED display built into the handlebar. Founded by two aerospace engineers, Furo Systems has been in the electric bike game for just a couple of years. But its latest model shows that the UK manufacturer is ready to get more established brands off the stage. The Furo X packs a generous list of equipment while remaining practical and stylish. All of its electronics are hidden inside the frame and the removable battery box is mounted behind the seat. The standard goodies include a 9-speed Shimano gear shifter, Shimano hydraulic disc brakes and onboard computer with an LCD display. On average, the bike covers up to 28 miles of range, but there is also the Furo X Max model that features a 500 watt motor and offers the extended range of 35 miles. With its battery charging network and over 300,000 electric scooters sold worldwide, Gugoro is one of the most famous brands in the market niche. In 2020, the company is branching out with its first electric bicycle models called EO1 and 1S. Both are built on a carbon fiber frame and fork, while the 1S bike also gets its seat post, handlebars and rims made from the same materials. The bikes are powered 250 watt smart wheel motor, good for 19 miles per hour speeds. They can operate in power and eco assist modes, covering 40 to 55 miles on a charge. Available in classic, all-electric and junior modifications, this is the world's first unibody bicycle that is 3D printed in one piece using industrial grade carbon fiber. The bike's frame weighs less than 3 pounds and it is individually crafted just for you using 18 different body measurements. In case of the E-model, the propulsion source is a rear hub 250 watt Bafang motor paired with a 125 watt hour battery that is hidden inside the frame too. The bike can speed to 20 miles per hour and its pedal assisted range reaches 60 miles. Plus, there are six color options and three equipment levels to choose from. Which one of the presented electric vehicles is your personal top pick? Share with the world in the comments section. Smash the like button to make your input in the progress of EVs. Like, share, and continue watching more episodes by clicking on the icons in front of you. See you soon.